Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Jen and Amy here, and we're looking at a cross patterning, patterning movement on the foam roller. So Amy is supine on the foam roller, and I want her to feel the weight of the back of her head, her mid-back, and the back of her pelvis. Here it's really tricky when we get on this movable floor of the foam roller. We immediately, to stabilize ourselves, go into too much of a grip in our glute muscles, and we, we lose that lightness around the, um, the vertebrae at the back of the belly button. So I want Amy to bring her mind's eye to that part of her body and, and try to really soften the tail and the sitting bones down, just the Goldilocks right amount. Right? Still keeping that weight in her mid-back. And then I'm going to ask her to do something pretty challenging, keeping that position of her spine and her pelvis. So keeping her center line as slow and controlled and precise as she can, she's going to start to wheel her left leg up. So the left knee will come up and her right hand is going to meet the inside of that left knee. And then on her next exhale, she'll slowly float the foot and the arm back down. Good. And now I want her to do that same side again. So when she's ready, um, as she lifts this left leg up, I want her to think about the sitting bone reaching to the wall in front of her. I want her to think about the femur head ro rotating down and back and the sitting bone reaching in the opposite direction. Good. And then bring the hand up to meet this knee, steady, steady, and find that compression, that counter pressure between the hand and the leg. And that counter pressure between the hand and leg should help her to hug into her midline. It should help her to find more tail to head length here, and actually more blooming of this lifted sits bone. And then on her next exhale, she'll slowly release the arm and the leg, and gently, gently come back to the floor. Now, let's look at the other side and see what happens. So, um, I want her to first try to have the arm opposite leg as synchronized swimmers, so that she's going to exhale, wheeling the knee up, Steady, steady on her spine. Good. And then she gets that counter pressure moment, which really hugs her into her midline. That, that was very good. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and I'm also looking at what's happening with the standing leg and foot. And she did a really good job not losing her first metatarsal um, uh, first ray. That's great. And then on the exhale, synchronized swimmer of that arm and that leg, slowly lowering down, really using lots of stabilization skills here as she goes into this eccentric phase of the movement. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.